Hi guys, this is Hafiz and today our topic is how to manually backup your WordPress website. We are going to see how to backup your complete WordPress website manually, including your database. Many users lose access to their WordPress admin area after a hack attempt or some plugin errors. In this case, most tutorial recommends that you create a complete WordPress backup. If you lose admin area access, you cannot install any plugin to backup your website. So this is where knowing how to make a manual backup of your WordPress website manually comes in handy. This step-by-step -step guide will show you how to manually backup your WordPress website including your database. So guys, let's start action. First, we'll create our website content backup. There are some steps that will follow and then we'll create database backup. There are also some steps that we need to follow. So let us go with the first thing now, website content backup. We have step one, login to cPanel of your website, then open file manager, then create zip for all website contents, and then finally download that compressed file. So let's do this step first. We'll go to our website. So here I have my uh, WordPress website, which is proexperts.com. I'm going to take backup of this whole website including the database of this website so for this I have to log in with the cPanel so to open cPanel of this website I just have to write cPanel and here I need to log in with my username and password so guys you can see I logged in already with my cPanel account here you can see file manager because our second step is open file manager so I'll open my file manager in new tab and we'll see the next step is create zip for all website contents so once your file manager load all the directories and files you need to find public HTML you can see here I got my public HTML here I'll double click on this one and here you can see all the directories and the files so what I have to do I have to click on select all here and then right click here and create a compressed file so I click on the compress and then I'll select as a zip file and then click on compress files so it is going to create compressed file of all my website contents you can see it is creating dot attract a dot zip file why because it took the first directory name it didn't give us option to choose the name it took automatically so you can see it compressed all my directories and files i can close this one and if i scroll down so here you can see it created a dot attractor.zip file and it tells me the size is 245 mb so let us rename this file first i'll right click and rename because this is a backup of my whole website so i'll say uh, complete underscore backup underscore on today's uh, 0 5 dash 12 dash 2019 so I give a logical name complete website we can say complete web backup and I give the date also so we can rename this file and then you can see uh, this file is renamed here and we can right click now and click on download so our last step was download that compressed file so we right click and download this file and click ok now we got all the content of our wordpress website so let's move to the next step the next step is database backup here we need to perform three steps first is login to cpanel which we already done we are already logged in with our cpanel account so then in the cPanel we need to open phpMyAdmin and then we need to select the database that we are going to export. So what we need to do, we need to come back to our cPanel and then here we need to find where is phpMyAdmin. Now here you can see in the database area, you can see there is phpMyAdmin link. You can right click and open a new tab. Our backup is still downloading, you can see downloading still so by that time we are uh, 
going to create our database backup as well so my php my admin is loading so you can see php my admin uh, panel is loaded first i need to select the database the database which is belong to your website so i know this is my database i'll click on this database uh, which is second last database and then on the right side i'll click on export you need to make sure that you selected a right database that is actually associated with your website so after i select the database i click on export here you can see on the top and then we need to just click on go button so it will download in dot sql format so you can see this database with dot sql format so you can save this file click ok it's downloading my database file as well I have a big database I got lots of stuff there so that's all guys you can see I downloaded my database also and complete website content so this is my website complete website backup including my database I hope you got an idea how to manually backup your WordPress website please subscribe my channel and hit like button for more videos